In session one, we were learning about friction. We had a ramp and we sent cars down the ramp with different surfaces so we could see which ones had more friction and therefore went slower. In session two, we made balloon powered cars looking at potential to kinetic energy. In session three today, we have learned about aerodynamics with our smoke tunnel. And in the final session, we will be racing our cars. As soon as the students come into the classroom, straight away they've got that physical thing to focus on and get involved in. Learning about the theory and then getting hands on from that theory, they're learning and doing it by trying and they're seeing what works, what doesn't work and then they're making adaptions but they're thinking about them adaptions themselves and it's bringing out their creativity as well. We got the inspiration from this from Rowan's design when we did our, our race. He's taught me how uh, like the air resistance is like a key part of this. And he got me like this slip for an apprenticeship thing because he knows I want to be an engineer. I'm Andy, I'm the head of R&D at Xtrek, which is a company that makes transmissions for motorsport and what we call high performance automotive, so supercars. I think every one of them has improved. The first session was difficult, especially for some of the children. Now they're all fully engaged and they're, you know, they're, they're doing the activity. They're not just watching. Over the few weeks, they've taken part in a range of activities which have been really super engaging, which has been lovely to see, kind of generalise their communication skills and also kind of builds on their concepts uh, within science and, and maths and, um, and also with their firing motor skill development as well. I would say I've learned that engineering is accessible to anyone. Getting children involved earlier is the best way to enhance their skills. So to show them how to solve problems, but not worrying about the maths or the science, it's just getting on hands-on practical. I've learned that everybody should try, try and try again. And if you fail once, you, you'll, you might win the next time. It's really beneficial for them just to get hands-on and get involved and, and enjoy the task, but also, they're making memories with other students that are in the room, so they're building relationships. It's really, really beneficial for them to do that, particularly in this environment.